And welcome back to Politics Unplugged. This week, the special counsel investigating the Capitol riot in 2020 election interference subpoenaed the Arizona Secretary of State's office. Adrian Fontes was the Maricopa County recorder at the time. Now he holds the office of Secretary of State. On this week's Politics Unplugged podcast, I talked to him about the subpoena. It's been slightly quiet for you lately, except recently we saw some news. Thankfully. Uh, yeah, but, you know, we did see some news. Your office was subpoenaed in regards to the January 6th investigation. Yeah. Now, you you know, it wasn't anything, you weren't the Secretary of State at the time of the January 6th in, insurrection. Yeah. It's the records that were housed there. So what can you tell us about what the investigation was looking for? What were they asking for? What were you handing over? Well, just for context, so the first subpoena came directly to our office in December of 2022. Mm -hmm. I wasn't in the office yet. Um, and then... The second one came a couple of months ago, and that went to a law firm that had been representing the office. And so they were subpoenaing records from that law firm. We were just notified uh, of that. So we kind of uh, made sure that, you know, that they cooperated fully and stuff like that. You know, generally speaking, you have to be, you have to respect the prospect, the, 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 process and be a little bit circumspect yeah. in reflecting on these things because I don't want to be the guy that interferes with an investigation that's happening out of the Department of Justice, especially something that is of such importance. Um, but I'm glad. Uh, I, I'm really glad that they're being as thorough as they are being. You know, back in February of 2022, when I was a candidate, um, I, I, I asked the Department of Justice to jump in and investigate the, the fake electors, you know, those, those uh, folks who would pretend like they were representing Arizona's voters when they were not. Um, Several who are current state lawmakers. Well, yeah, and, uh, you know, I think that that's, a, I think that's an absolute breach of, of the voters' trust. I mm -hmm. think it's a violation of the 14th Amendment, mm -hmm. frankly. Um, but it is what it is. We're in the circumstance that we're in, and so we just move forward and uh, comply with the process as thoroughly as possible and uh, hopefully justice will be uh, will be met uh, at the end of the at the end of the road and did you get a sense of what they were looking for I mean can you, I mean you're probably kind of limited to what you know what you could say about this I might think but did you get a, a sense of maybe what kinds of things where they're going with this investigation from what they were asking for in Arizona's involvement in this well I would uh, what I can say is it's not inconsistent with what's been requested of a, a variety of different states mm -hmm. and we all know from a lot of public reporting what's been requested of different states right communication by the Trump team to um, the various offices around the country that have been subpoenaed in similar ways, uh, communications with lawyers, communications with other election officials. So those are the sorts of things, uh, you know, that we're seeing popping up across the country, and, and it would not be inconsistent of them to, to, to ask those sorts of questions here. And what, what do you make, though, too, uh, too, kind of related to all this? We've seen some uh, recent revelations uh, being reported by The Washington Post and others about, you know, pressure on former Governor Doug Ducey um, and, 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 you know, to be, you know, maybe help overturn the elections. What have you been making about those reports coming out? Well, it's perfectly consistent with sort of the, the buffoonery that the Trump administration ended its 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 run on. And, and it's it's good that, you know, folks like uh, Iman uh, over at the um, that the poster reporting on these sorts of things is are a lot of folks. Look, they were they were ham handed. They were sloppy. They were, you know, ignorant. And mm -hmm. and they got a whole bunch of people to follow along with them. And a bunch of people are getting into trouble because of this. Mm -hmm. They broke the law. They tried to overturn a legitimate, safe, secure, accessible election. Mm -hmm. And in each of the states, they're being met with a variety of different circumstances. And here in Arizona, the process might not be as quick as we'd like it to be mm -hmm. to get to the end of this whole thing. But I think most people are coming to realize that this was not, that the 2020 election was not a problem. It is the perpetuation of the lie that's the problem mm -hmm. by these MAGA fascists, you know, these folks who don't care about voters. They don't care about the election. They only want their guy to win. And that's not an American thing. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and so we've got to speak up against it and say, look, they were wrong then. They are wrong now. And um, they, they need to be they need to be called out at every turn. And mm -hmm. that's one of the reasons why I don't shy away from that. Yeah. And for people who don't remember 
Um, you weren't Secretary of State at the time of the 2020 election. You were even more in the eye of the storm. You were the county recorder. Yeah, um, I was in the odd position of being the chief administrator for the election, and I was actually on the ballot wow. with Donald Trump. And my election resulted in the same result yeah. as Donald Trump, right? A very yeah. narrow defeat. The difference between myself and Donald Trump is I respect American voters. I respect the people, the regular citizens who run our elections, the friends and neighbors and retirees and folks who spent time and energy taking an oath of office to be fair in their execution of the office of running the election. They did the election. I respected them. And I peacefully turned over the office to uh, Stephen Richard. And you can hear my full conversation with Secretary of State Adrian Fontes on Politics Unplugged, the podcast. You can find that on Apple, YouTube, Spotify, or wherever else you get your podcasts.